Hey yo, this is Yeti Whiskers, and welcome back to some more modded Minecraft here on Regrowth. So, I have spent some time gathering some of the essence of the various metals, as well as coal, and growing the seeds. We've gone through one line for each of the seeds we unlocked last time, and you can see we've got coal over here doing pretty well, as well as some of the others. I'll show you how much of the various alloys we have stored up already. It's pretty exciting. I've got myself some copper ore down here. And if we have time later in the video, I'll show you how we go about making the various ores from the essence that we receive from our plants. So you can see I've got quite a bit of tin, copper, and iron, and then this up here is just regular coal, and then this little section is our charcoal from earlier. So doing, doing all right. Not too bad with everything. It's exciting to have some of these. We can upgrade ourselves here shortly. But uh, first things first today, we want to get our garden signs up and ready to go so to do that we are going to oh this is a quest we may get to today uh we're gonna go to what the world embraces so you can see there's a whole ton of different quests in here that we need to get done but this is the one i want barreling forward when you've got just far too much of something to store it in a chest why not chuck it in a barrel barrels will hold single type of item but can hold very large volumes of the item acting as an attractive bulk storage option. So we are going to use these better barrels with the stickers as our seed signs. So we need to first craft ourselves some better barrels. So let's go ahead and do that in here. Better barrels up here. Find out what we need. So we need just a chest and then to surround it with it looks like logs and then one slab. So that should be pretty easy. Go back in here where our wood is. And then with these alloys, we are going to need, that's fine, one of these guys. <laughs> Some of these things I don't need, I don't use. With the alloys, I think we're going to get into maybe making ourselves like a tool forge or something. Maybe that'll be our next building. So let's see, let's make ourselves a chest. <coughs> Excuse me, still getting over the, uh, the cold. Let's see, boop, there we go, better barrel. Well, let's claim our reward real quick. Mm. And we're back. Sorry about that. So we may upgrade our barrels shortly. I'm not sure. I had a coughing fit. That's why I had to cut there. Um, we may upgrade these. I'm not sure yet. But I just kind of want to show you the plan for these barrels real quick. We'll run out over here. <clears throat> And over to our, let's start with the wheat. So let's chop this down and then cut this in. And if you look down, it'll place the sticker on top like this. So then we'll harvest some of this. And all you gotta do is right click and there you go. Ta-da! I think that looks great, much better than these. And then um, I'll only start putting these barrels in once they're we have the full stats on each of them. So you can see there's quite a few that we'll need to do that for. So I'll do that probably in between episodes, but just so you guys have a clue of that. And then the nice thing about this is it tells you how many uh, are in there at a time. So you just take your stack of 28, boop, now we've got 32. And then once you get a stack, it'll say one times 64 or two times 64 or whatever. So that's how those work. And we're back. Sorry about that. Another coughing fit. I apologize. This side of the cold is not fun. So, green thumb. What we're going to do is get through the rest of the quests that we have available on um, chapter one of the book. So, gar green thumb. Of course, garden soil doesn't only have applications in farming. You can plant flowers on it and carefully arrange them by using a garden trowel. So, right-click on a block of garden soil to access the arrangement screen. Flowers and similar plants can be placed in the various slots to form a pretty arrangement of flora. So, honestly... Don't know how much we'll use this, but it's a quest, so let's build ourselves the garden trowel. And I think we just need iron. Garden trowel, here it is. Yeah, so we need compost, an iron ingot, and a stick. We have plenty of all of those now, luckily. Let's grab out of here, just one piece of compost is fine. Okay, just kidding. We're gonna, <laughs> can we not put them back in? No, we can't. All right, we'll just take them all, no big deal. Okay. <clears throat> Then let's go grab ourselves an iron ingot from in here. Boop, boop. And 
crafting table. So I think it was like this, like so, and like so. And then we've got ourselves the garden trowel. We'll see how often we actually use this thing. Maybe once we get more into the decorating. A nice little jingle for completing the quest. Okay, so the next thing is pottering about. Not everyone wants to recess their farms into the ground, yet if you place the soil on the surface, it simply is unattractive. Developing or delving into the use of ceramics will hopefully let you build a planter box of sorts with the capacity for enough soil to support a farm. These large pots are exactly what you're after. You can place them all sorts of soil or dirt in them and then plant flowers and crops in them quite happily. So this is an alternative. So what I've done already is I used our clay conias with the red sand. It turns out it does work. And I got ourselves some clay blocks. And you only need four balls of clay. And you arrange them in a square, and then you just um, smelt them here in a furnace, and you get hardened clay. Get over there while we're waiting. And then to make the large flower box, uh, pot, box, whatever, just do this. You get three, so that should be another quest for us. hey -o. Now we have more. Okay, so it looks like we're done with this one again, which is good. So let's take a look at uh, some of the upgrades maybe for the bigger barrels. Since we've already got this going, actually, yeah, let's do this one real quick. When the bulk uh, storage of barrels isn't enough, why not upgrade them? So before upgrading the storage barrels, you need to give them a structural upgrade. This may be applied sequentially and each add a certain number of upgrade slots which can be used for different types of upgrades. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is to get this structural MK1 copper ingot. So I think if we look down here, MK, I was just gonna do that. Look at, we can go all the way up to 11. Glowstone ingot. Okay, anyway, getting, so we need copper ingots, four of those, and then four of these lattices. And we just need to make, okay, I think we've got everything in. Let's go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Well, that's way too many. Apparently, <laughs> that's not how that works. That's okay. We're gonna use them anyway because. Uh, we will need the upgrades for all of the barrels that we have out there, not just the one that we've already created. Uh, what am I missing here? Oh, there it is. Okay. Boop. Okay. Claim our reward. Okay, next. We need to build a storage upgrade. Okay, let's do that. That shouldn't be too hard, I hope. Storage upgrade. So for this, ooh, pistons and a better barrel. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. Let's see how much cobblestone we have. That's my only concern. So we need cobble. Let's see this again. Sorry. Apologize. Okay, and a lever and an iron ingot. Okay. So we need two ingots. We should be good there. Let's make two levers real quick. With the... I always get this mixed up. There we go. Two levers. We are getting full of all of our inventory here. Okay, so then we need to do two here, two levers there. One, two, one, two. And then, whoop. whoop. Okay, we got two pistons. Now we need a better barrel again, which I think was something like this. We need the chest first. Uh, I can dump this, dump the stick. Okay, in the chest we need some of these guys. And then we should be good. Okay, make ourselves another better barrel. Let's see, like this. Surround this with all the logs. One little slab, there we go. Put this here, a piston on either side. Storage upgrade, perfect, okay, got it. Okay, so do we want copper? Probably we want copper, because we've got a bunch of those we need. Ding, 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 ding. Beautiful. Are you avoiding me? Okay, we won't worry about the avoiding me. Let's go to sleep real quick. I'm gonna I'll empty my inventory, and I will be right back shortly. All right, so we've cleaned up the inventory a little bit. We are back from our sleep. Now we're just gonna go over and see if we can apply this upgrade that we got to our barrel. Hopefully this should be pretty easy. Let's just see, uh, right click. 
Okay, shift right click, and that'll give you this. Then if you shift right click on both, that's how you get the upgrades. Okay, good to know. Perfect. So the next thing that we need to do is, let's see, we're not gonna do that one. We are gonna do this brick by a less boring brick. Sometimes you want to get some early aesthetic advances in designing your home. That's where the chisel comes in. Using it, you can add some variability to your building to make it a whole, all the more pretty. So right click to open the chisel GUI, place blocks then select. So this is just telling us how to use that. And this is pretty simple to use. Um, and we're gonna do this because we need some more variations in, I think I wanna change the pathway here a little bit. Obviously we don't want cracked sand, that's kind of boring. So the way that we make this chisel, I believe, is just with a stick and with a piece of flint. And then we get the chisel. So we should be able to get this, claim our order, get a bunch of marble. And then for those of you who don't know what it does, all you do is you right click with the chisel and then you like put a marble in here and it gives you all these variations of marble that you can use. And you can do that with dirt. Um, one of the things actually I want to try is with this torch. And let's try this one. And let's go put it on our house real quick. You can use it with all kinds of different blocks and it gives you a bunch of different variations. You can do wood, dirt, cobblestone, stone, obviously marble, pretty much everything. Oh, we want to do this. Boop. Check it out, we're styling now. Much better. I don't know if it really fits the whole theme of the aesthetic, but I like it, it'll work. It'll keep us well lit, and it doesn't look like all these giant tr torches everywhere. So, uh, yeah, that's better. Okay, uh, let's see. We're gonna do one more quest probably today. Let us do the pruning time. On a fully grow, oh, let's see. Spreading seeds can be a bit time consuming and you wish there was a better way to do it. Fortunately, there is. Using a pair of clippers on a fully grown crop will get you a, a clipping of it, which is for all intents and purposes, a clone of the parent seed. You can then attempt to plant this clipping on crop sticks and depending on the strength of the stat, or the strength stat, you may or may not succeed. Uh, at 10 strength, planting seems seem guaranteed to be, to be successful. So this will be nice when we want to try and move things around or if we get the 10, 10, 10 seeds, we can help really quickly um, fill up the whole row. So let's get ourselves the clipper. Mm -mm -mm. Clipper. Boop. Okay, so we need iron, ingot, and shears, and two sticks. That shouldn't be too bad for us. Okay, so we're gonna need three of these. Right here, make ourselves some shears real quick. And I think it was like this and like this. Yep. Ta-da! The clipper. We'll have to go try this here shortly. And we get ourselves a pumpkin clipping. Woohoo! Which is good. We don't actually have pumpkins. Let's go test it out. The clipping on our an empty plot of soil. And then we'll call it a day. Uh, anyway, I wanted to ask you guys about like me building off camera, if that's something you guys don't mind or if you'd like rather have me do it on camera. Uh, I like to focus, there we go, we got pumpkins, woohoo! Uh, mostly on the quests while I'm making the videos, but I'm more than happy to build as well. Um, so like we did with our house over here and, and uh, the gazebo, I'm more than happy to do that on, on camera. Just let me know your thoughts if you prefer, like I did these off camera these two over here, the crossbreeding and the uh, farms. Let me know what you prefer. Maybe we'll do a mixture of both. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and we will catch you next time.